I'm Ben, and this is Hyperfine, resources and tutorials for architects by architects. Today I'm talking about building your own computer for architecture school or for professional practice, and I'm going to talk about exactly what that means, how you do it, and why you should do it. So this will probably be a two-part video. Um, this first part, I'm going to talk about why. Uh, and there's four good reasons, I think, for building your own computer. I was a lifelong Mac user, uh, and then when I started graduate school in architecture, I started getting into Revit and 3ds Max and V-Ray and rendering, and, and it turned out that I basically wasn't getting the performance I needed from my MacBook Pro running Parallels or Boot Camp and installing Windows. So I decided to actually go to a PC. Um, and as I began to research different PCs, um, I asked someone who, who knew about computers if they had a recommendation, and they said you should just build one yourself. And I had no idea what they meant. I thought you had to solder microchips together, and I just it, I didn't understand at all what he meant by build your own computer. Turns out it's a better term would just be to assemble your computer. So you buy all the different parts that make up a computer and you assemble them. And it's, it's really fun, you learn a lot, and I think there's four great reasons for doing it yourself. I'm gonna share them now. All right, number one, you can save money. When you pick and choose the parts you want and assemble them together, you can usually end up with a more powerful computer than you could buy for that same dollar amount. So if your budget is $1,200, uh, if you buy a computer off the shelf for $1,200, you will not get the same performance as if you had bought all the parts yourself separately and assembled them together. Um, you can probably get something similar, but there's going to be something, whether it's the RAM, the processor speed, the graphics card, there's going to be something with that off-the-shelf computer uh, that you're just not going to get the same value for with if you do it yourself. Number two, I think this is a big one, is that you will learn a lot about the link between the hardware and the software that you use, and you will in turn become a better designer. I think if you're getting into a lot of the architectural softwares, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of rendering, uh, we'll say 3ds Max and V-Ray, uh, the performance of those softwares are, are very closely tied to the hardware in your computer. So the more you learn about what's actually in your machine, it will make you a better designer. It will make you more efficient in the work you do, um, and you'll be able to make more informed choices about uh, sort of the way you use your software based on what, what hardware you have in your computer. Number three is kind of, uh, closely tied to that is that you can customize the computer any way you want. So when you are searching for a pre-made computer, you can definitely filter out, you know, filter for the different specifications you want, but you might not be able to find exactly what you're looking for 100%. So when you assemble it yourself, you can pick and choose, you can basically handpick the pieces that you want to go in your computer and you get exactly what you want. And number four, uh, this is another good one, is that you can update parts along the way. So if your computer is a couple years old, um, you don't have to start from scratch and build a completely new one. You can update individual components within that computer. So uh, the computer I have downstairs right now that I'm replacing, it's actually about seven years old. Um, over that period of time, I've updated the RAM, I've added more hard drives, I have, uh, I have installed a new graphics processor unit. So I didn't have to start from scratch with a whole new computer. I was able to update parts as I choose. And some of those parts are salvageable. So the computer I'm building today, um, I decided not to buy a new graphics card because I updated the one in my existing computer last year. It's still perfectly good, perfectly capable, and I can save a little bit of money today by not having to buy a new graphics card. So you have the opportunity to uh, remove and install new pieces along the way. So those are four reasons that I choose to build my own computers. I've been doing this about seven years now. I've built maybe a dozen computers between workstations and render nodes. Uh, and I highly, highly recommend doing this if you are uh, going to be a professional architect um, working for yourself or if you're a student looking for a powerful computer to, to use at school. Um, so this was part one of the video, part two. I'm gonna actually put this computer uh, behind me together. I'm gonna talk about the different parts that I chose. Uh, you can also read all about this um, and find my full parts list over on hyperfinearchitecture.com. Check out the resources page and check out the blog page. Uh, for free resources and tutorials for architects and students. Thanks.